Today I'm going to be showing the Switch Pros SP9100 that I have mounted in this custom mount that I made and I'm selling on Swarfworks.com along with the SP9100s. Um, this 8 output switch panel has a uh, remote module that mounts under the hood, connects to your battery and it supplies 4 outputs at 20 amps a piece and 4 outputs up to 35 amps a piece. What makes this unique is it's very customizable for, you can have it do uh, momentary or constant on and off, you can have it be switched from the ignition or battery, so anytime you can have it uh, dim LEDs, you can have it keep on outputs for a certain amount of time after you shut the truck off, you can have it remember if they were on or off when you shut it off, turn it back on and it'll come back on if you, if you had it remember. Uh, it's got an RGB backlight on it, so you can adjust the backlight color to match your vehicle instrument panel. Um, here on the app, you can see the switch panel as well. So I can turn on and off outputs right here. Uh, air compressor. Um, even a little air horn. So I just wanted to go over some of the settings real quick. Uh, right here it'll show your, your voltage, your battery voltage and the temperature of the module under the hood. Um, if I go into settings, um, the first setting here is configure switches. Um, I'll go into each one of these as fast as I can, but there's, there's so much stuff you can do with this thing. So this, the switches, we can set the strobes and whether we, whether we want it to be momentary or not, all that stuff. LED backlight settings. Um, switch names, password, output dimming, I mean there's a lot of stuff here. So configure switches. I'll go through set a few of these and then kind of give an example of what it does. So switch function, um, you can have it on or off or momentary. So obviously the air horn there was momentary. Um, so as long as you hold it down it'll stay on. And the next setting we have here is battery or ignition. So do we want these outputs to be available or the switches to be available uh, when the truck's off or not? Right now you can see I have all mine set to ignition. And then the next here we have is a flash function. So this flash is about the rate of uh, a normal turn signal indicator. Um, I'll set one, let's see, we'll set one of the LP9s um, to the flash function. So now you have flash off, flash on, or one touch flash. One touch flash is you touch that button and it flashes instantly. Uh, flash on, which I'll set it to, you have to double tap the switch or the button to make it flash. So I'll do that for that one. And then we have the strobe function. So now the strobe function is, it works just like the flash function is how you activate it, but it's a very fast um, strobe function. So I can have um, multiple options here. I switch three, which are some backup lights. I have strobe off, you can do a constant strobe, a burst strobe. So the constant strobe is just that, it's just a continuous strobing. The burst strobe, it strobes for just uh, maybe two seconds, and then it has a slight pause, maybe half a second and then it goes back to the two seconds. I mean, it, it just alternates. And then the constant one touch strobe is that you just touch the switch once and that's what you get. You don't have to double tap it. And the burst is the same thing. So um, I have my reverse light set to a burst strobe. So I have to double tap it. And then I'll set uh, the other set of LP9s to a, a constant strobe. Show you what that does here in a second. So this next function of a low voltage disconnect, is, it does just that. It, it, if it senses the voltage is too low, it turns off the unit, turns off um, all the outputs on it. So I leave that on. And now the memory function, it actually, if you um, turn, a, turn an output on and turn the truck off, whatever, get out, you come back out, and whatever it was set to before, it'll remember it if you have that memory function on. So my radio, um, my two-way radio here, I have set to on. Um, heated wipers, I have the same way. And also my air compressor. 
Uh, so say I was at the sand dunes and was using it a lot, I, uh, if I turn the truck off, turn it back on, it would automatically turn it back on. So here, this master switch function, because you can have Mul you could have a switch, one switch control multiple outputs. So say we want um, switch 7, which is the spot LP9s. Um, so I master switch is switch 7, and I want it to control. So when I turn on switch 7, I want it to turn on switch 7. Um, so on and off, you can have it do it so it only turns it on, then you have to turn each one off individually. So then I also want it to turn on um, turn on uh, the other set of LP9s. I'll show what that does. So it, now we're back to here. So when I turn on that master switch function, when I turn on that one, it, get, it turns both of them on. So if I turn on this one, I only get that one. So now to activate the um, flash function, just double tap. And it's, like I said, about a turn signal indicator speed. Now if I double tap on the spot, there's a strobe, so it is also making the floodlight, or the, uh, the other set of LP9s do its um, flash, which I can turn those off individually, turn them on individually. So there you can see the speed of the strobe. Now the burst strobe, there'll be just a little bit of pause in there where it turns it off just for a split second. Um, so go back into the settings, there's the LED backlight settings because you can customize it. Uh, you can set the brightness of the indicator uh, as well as the backlight brightness. Um, and the colors, you can uh, have a whole color wheel here. And then also just some standard RGB colors. So set switch names, this is kind of nice for the app. Um, since you don't have the um, stickers to put on it, it's nice to be able to name them. So you can name, name those what you want. A set password, um, that one, they say if you set that password and forget it, they have no way of retrieving it, so I just leave that off. And now a enable output dimming, that does a, a PWM, a pulse width mod modulation on any output you want. Um, so obviously lights, you can have them dimmed. So I have switch five, which is one set of LP9, switch seven enabled. And then what you do to activate that, what I'll show you here is you hold down the button. So you, you press and hold and there's 100% and then it drops down, drops down, drops down to 10% and then it goes back through 100. So you just like let off wherever you want and it stays there. If you turn it off and then you turn it back on, it, it goes back to 100%. You have to go through it again to dim it. So an output, output dimming, now calibrate readings, you can just adjust that um, the voltage and the temperature um, to, to compensate for any differences. Uh, set the radio name, instead of Switch Pro, you can have it say something else. The auto sleep settings, you can have it uh, automatically go to sleep after a certain amount of time of not using it. The external trigger setup here I want to go over, um, there's two inputs to it, the triggers they call them. There's trigger one, which I have hooked right now to one of the upfitter switches in this Raptor, but you can have that set to your your high beams. Um, and then output, or um, sorry, the lights or trigger two is uh, I have that set to the low beams. So as soon as you turn the headlights on, it dims the panel and then you can have it um, do other outputs. So right here I can see, you can see that I have, it'll turn on switch five so if you have it set to active high, as soon as it sees 12 volts, it will turn it on, turn on switch five. And you can see up here now on this other one that I have running from the auxiliary six on the outfitter switch, um, I have it turn on three, five, and seven. So you can have multiple, up to four outputs triggered off of each one of these triggers. So after external trigger, you have uh, temperature units, it's pretty self-explanatory, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Uh, connected units, you can have multiple ones of these units um, connected. Now the power up switch status is just that. If, if you, you could have each one 
individually set differently. So if you want a certain output to always be on when the truck starts up, you can set that. The off delay switch settings, and this is pretty slick too because you can set each one different if you want it to stay on for a certain amount of time after you get out of the truck. So say you turn on a set of lights and then you, you turn the truck off, get out, you can have it stay on for a certain amount of time. So my two-way radio I have set to 600 seconds. So 10 minutes after I get out, it'll turn that off. Uh, so you can enable or disable any of those individually. So the next up we have the switch over current values. Because this is solid state, it doesn't have fuses. So this is the equivalent of a fuse. So you can have each one of these different. So switch one is my ham, my two-way radio. I got 20 amps. Um, next up is the air horn, which is just a solenoid. Five amps is plenty for that. The reverse lights in the back are only a couple amps, so I've got it for five amps. Uh, switch four, uh, heated windshield wipers, at 10 amps. Switch five are the LP9s, uh, a one pair of them, and it says to run that on a 20 or a 30 amp circuit, so that's what I did. And you can select any different one you want here. Um, so I'm actually going to set that for uh, 10 amps and show you what that does when you trigger that. Um, so now I have the one set of LP9s set for 10 amps, which they take more than that. So I turn that on, it just, it just turns it off. It blinks about four times, letting you know that it was over current. But you can turn it right back on and try again if you want. Um, doesn't hurt anything, there's no fuse to reset, it's auto sensing the current on that. So next up is the single pole double throw and the single pole triple throw settings, which I don't have any of these set right now, but it's also a nice feature that you can do if, if you like to. So all in all, this SP9100 is awesome. It is really slick. Um, I can do things like this. I have one upfitter switch, turn on three outputs or four outputs if I want. I can have the high beams trigger an output. I can have my headlights, when I turn my headlights on, automatically turn on an output. Um, the customizable color, the, the Bluetooth, um, the strobe feature, um, the delayed off feature. I mean, this thing is really slick. And I'm gonna be selling these on my website with uh, the mount and the SP9100. Uh, it's swarfworks.com, S-W-A-R-F-W-O-R-K-S, or shoot me an email at paul at swarfworks.com. And thanks for watching.